So I'm very sad to report, but this fully specced out $3,000 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro with eight cores, this is an i9 processor, fully specced out, is terrible at editing 4K footage on an Adobe Premiere timeline. It just does not scrub very well, it's just very hard, and it's just, you know, it's just a terrible experience. So naturally, I need to buy a PC, a maxed out high-end PC editing machine. So I made my honest attempt to try and build a pre-built PC. I tried to source all the individual components, and obviously I cannot buy a GPU in Canada, specifically in Ontario. Everywhere I look on Kijiji or Craigslist or eBay, they're selling a 1070 for like 600, 700 Canadian dollars. It is ridiculous. I totally regret selling my GTX 1070 when I upgraded to the RTX 3070. And I sold it for like 200 bucks, 240 bucks. And I did not foresee that this crypto boom, this all this mining, everyone is just buying graphics cards. I literally cannot buy a 2060 or anything like that. So I'm actually forced to go to Dell and buy a pre-built PC to get any kind of graphics card at a reasonable price. This is this is terrible. And you know I've had an Alienware in the past and I said to myself, I'll never do it again. But given these circumstances, I really need a powerful machine at my second place where I in my office. So I need a PC, I need a machine, and I need it soon, and I can't wait for this magical GPU to show up on my doorstep. So with that in mind, let me tell you the most important things you need to know if you're gonna buy a Dale Gaming desktop. This may be the Alienware or the desktop G5 series. Okay, so the first most important thing that you need to know prior to buying any Dell desktop PC is to make sure that you get the right cooling. Now I've watched so many YouTube reviews, so many reviews of people online posting their hate that they got a lemon, they got a terrible Dell PC, and it's the worst experience ever. And I was like, what kind of CPU fan did they actually get? And this is very, this is a terrible experience from Dell. I don't blame the customers because maybe when they're buying their PC, they're just new, they're make, maybe they're moving from the console world. So on Dell's website, there's a part of their web, web experience that is really confusing. There's two, there's two ways to purchase a computer. One is a, you're gonna see a list of all the pre-built configurations and that is gonna give you a very limited set of options when you wanna upgrade. So for example, you can only upgrade the RAM or change the hard drive space, but you can't really change the, the CPU, for example. But if you click on the other side, I'm gonna show you on, on the screen, if you click and customize and then you can fully click all the components that you want, that's the place where you wanna go. That's the place where you wanna customize your machine so that you get the best cooling option that is available. So I bought an Alienware just two to three years ago and I got the 8700K. And I didn't even know that that came with a pro appropriate cooler because I got the unlocked version. However, this time I got the Dell G500 and it's known to be notoriously loud and just throttle a lot and just have terrible CPU performance and GPU performance. Now, if you're gonna buy the Dell G5, which is a, a fan solution, and if you buy the non-K version of any Intel chip, you're gonna end up getting stuck with the stock CPU cooler that comes with the Intel chip. So if you go to any computer store and you wanna buy an Intel chip, if you get the non-K version, it comes with a stock cooler. That stock cooler is literally a piece of garbage. You can throw it out the window. It is a, it's like a piece, of, it's like a $2 piece of crap. And it just, it's, it's there just to barely meet the minimum thermal requirements to cool this PC. It is gonna be very loud. It's the worst experience ever. Do not get a non-K version, or you're going to have to do an aftermarket cooler upgrade, which I do not recommend, and I'll explain why later. So to sum this up, it's very important that you get the K version. Now, if you go into the Alienware section, so that the more premium series, the, the option to upgrade to liquid cooling is more evident, and then obviously select that one. Do not, on any, any circumstances, even if you get the lowest tier, like an i3, do not get fan cooling. This is so important. Otherwise, you're, you might as well just return that PC because you're gonna be very annoyed by the performance and the noise it, it produces using that terrible stock cooler. If you buy an Intel chip that is unlocked, it doesn't come with a CPU cooler. Therefore, Dell is like, okay, well, we're gonna use our own CPU cooler, so they use liquid cooling in that case. I think it's really dirty on Dell to do this. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to utilize as they're trying to maximize their profit margins as much as possible because it's a low profit mar mar margin business selling computers, right? So they're gonna they're gonna get a whole inventory of Intel chips from Intel, and then Intel's gonna provide them with a stock cooler, and they're gonna be like, well, we can't waste more money. We have to use these stock coolers. That's what the people at Dell, and it meets the and it meets the minimum requirements to keep it cool, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna get the maximum performance. I also think that they do this. They don't want people to buy the K version. They're, obviously they're gonna pay more money, but it's more of a liability on them when they ship it because you're gonna have this really huge, massive heat sink with a fan inside that when they ship it, it might be a liability. So maybe they're trying to protect their ass. I don't know what Dell is doing, but they're just doing a very terrible service. And I think it's a, it's a terrible company, but unfortunately, given my circumstances, I have no choice but to use Dell in order to get a computer within a reasonable amount of time. 
and not paying scalpel fees for a graphics card. Now, if you do end up getting the non-K version, you can still upgrade your CPU cooler. However, this is likely going to avoid your warranty and it's probably gonna cause more headache because you have to make sure that you buy the right one. Maybe you have to do some little hacks. Maybe, for example, if you wanna get the $50 Noctua one, you have to buy special M3 washers and special screws and stuff like that. I do recommend going on the Dell community forums and searching on how to replace this specific CPU cooler for these types of desktop G5 from, from Dell. However, it's much more easier just to get them to do it. So just get the K version, you're gonna get unlocked, you'll be able to overclock your CPU, get more performance, and you don't have to do the hassle of upgrading yourself. So for tip number two, it's, it's all about saving money. Now I've done a side-by-side -side comparison of all the components. If I were to source these components myself, and not and even pay a scalper fee it is cheaper to build my own computer and i'm going to get a way better build i'm going to be able to customize my own motherboard i'm going to have better thermals i'm going to have a better case everything's just going to be way better and it's unfortunate because the graphics card is the main issue why i can't build it i have to pay an enormous fee to just to, uh, to build my own computer so i have to go with dell now in order to save money there are two very important things you need to do now, before you click purchase, you're gonna have your typical sales price. Well, they're gonna have the retail price. It's gonna be ridiculously high. It's gonna be, and then there's gonna be a sell price. Okay, so you go for the sell price, like, yeah, I saved some money. Now there is always, from my experience of buying many PCs from Dell, there's always gonna be a coupon code. So maybe you, you bought a computer for $2,000, you get a coupon code for $200 off, or $1,000, you get $100 off. But there's even, there's even a better coupon code. And that is to sign up with their newsletter. You can use any email account, and basically you sign up and then maybe about 30 minutes later, it's a little delayed, you're gonna get a coupon code for 10% off. This works for me, at least in Canada. I'm gonna put a link in the, in the description of this video so that you can use this coupon code and this is gonna be way better than any other coupon code that you can get using like Honey, for example. So the second part of this tip is to use a kind of a cashback service. Now this is something that I didn't really catch on until, until later, so I had to cancel my order and reorder it. But I, in Canada at least, I use Rakuten, but there's Uni Days, for example. I'm not sure what it's like in the United States. But I'm sure that there's some service out there where you can go onto their portal, search up Dell. This is how it works with Rakuten, by the way. You search Dell on their little portal and they say, okay, click. You're gonna get, it, let's say for example, in my case, an 8% cash back. So you just, okay, click it. And then you begin your shopping. So you just go out of their website and then you just shop as normal as Dell. They're gonna track you of cookies. Make sure you disable your ad blocker because it's gonna block all the cookies and then it's not gonna be able to track associate that purchase you made. So that's also a very important thing. You're gonna get 8% cash back for just very little effort. So with the 10% off and then the 8% off, you do rack in a decent amount of savings. Just by doing that, I was able to get the price slightly on par of what it would cost to build it on my own. And it's obviously it's gonna be using shittery components. The Dell computer is not using the best components. They're gonna be using, for example, the motherboard is not gonna have heat sinks on it. It's gonna be using like the cheapest motherboard they have, the cheapest power supply they have, which is Apparently this G5, the one that I got, has a 500 watt power supply, which I'm a little concerned about, but apparently it's a platinum, so it should be a really high efficiency power supply, so I'm really hoping. I will update in the video if this is the case. So in the end, there's gonna be deals from time to time, but do not even think about ordering your Dell machine without considering looking at some discount codes, maybe the newsletter 10% off discount code, and looking at your local providers out there that give you kind of a cashback reward. And obviously use your credit card with the highest cashback, so you get even more money back. Now, if you wanna squeeze a little bit more money out of Dell because they're definitely ripping you off, you can talk to the customer service in a number of ways. One is to negotiate a lower price. So after you do all your discounts and stuff like that, you can say like, look, maybe I'm a loyal customer or like I'm kind of wanna buy this, talk to their customer rep. Maybe they'll give you a little bit of a discount. Uh, I was able to get maybe $50 off, but I lost that when I switched to Rakuten. I've also heard of other people trying to threaten to cancel their order because it's taking so long or they're just not very happy and they wanna refund it. Sometimes they just say, oh, you know what? If you keep it, Keep your order, we'll give you a little bit of money off, maybe 50 bucks or something like that. Now, I personally haven't done that and your mileage may vary. Now, for number three, this is not really a tip. This is more of a realization and kind of a sad fact. If you're buying this machine specifically for video editing and you obviously, you know, you, just because you're a video editor doesn't mean you're a hardcore gamer in virtual reality and, you know, CSGO and all that stuff. But if you're going to be buying it for video editing, Intel has a very cool feature called Quick Sync and it works in tandem with Adobe Premiere. Quick Sync allows you to decode and encode which is the act of playing back very compressed clips, something that some very popular clips, you know, stuff you get from your camera, your GoPro, your Sony camera, you put it on your timeline, and then when you scrub around, you're decoding live, and you have complex timelines that can be very computer intensive. There's hardware acceleration now, but back in the day, you would have to get an Intel chip with without the F letter in it. So if there's no F letter in the Intel chip, that means you're gonna get an integrated GPU, which is a very nice bonus. And if you buy this retail, so let's say you go into a store and you buy an Intel chip, 
you buy the F version versus the non-F version. The non-F version will have the integrated graphics card in embedded in the Intel chip. The difference is negligible if you buy in a store. I think it's like 30, 40 bucks, it's whatever. So you basically pay 30 bucks for a backup graphics card. A lot of people like to have this backup graphics card in the case they want to debug their machine. Let's say you don't have a, a card on you, a graphics card in your machine, but you want to still you know, debug it or have a backup, or maybe you sell your graphics card and you want to still use your PC. So you have this backup machine. So for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, it's great to have this on, on, on chip. And especially if you don't have a very advanced graphics card, and you have Adobe Premiere, QuickSync is, it's literally night and day. It's the difference is night and day. And it's so important to get a non F version. Now, here's the shitty thing with Dell. Dell does not give you the option to purchase an Intel chip that is not an F. Basically, you cannot purchase an Intel chip with the onboard graphics card on the Intel chip. <laughs> so basically they're making you, they're forcing you to buy the cheaper version of every chip and there's no option to upgrade. This is where Dell is like constantly trying to save money. They're trying to save money. They're working with Intel and Intel sending them all these chips with dead GPUs on it. That's what they call it. The, the silicon, whatever, the way it created the chip. For some reason, that part of the chip did not make it on the assembly line. So they call it an F chip. So Dell is just trying to squeeze as much profit as they can. And they're just, you know, they're not telling you that you're really missing out on some important features. Now, thankfully, in Adobe Premiere, after version 4.5, you can use your RTX card or your GTX, any, anything from the 10 series to decode, and this also applies to AMD. You can use it to encode and decode HEVC, which is a very intense codec, and H.264. So thankfully, there is a backup option, but prior to 14.5, which, which, was, which was just released in August 2020, kind of recently, you would, you would buy a PC not knowing that you're getting no in, Intel integrated graphics chip embedded in it. And that's just really dirty that they don't give you the option to pay the extra 30, 40 bucks that you would otherwise pay in a retail setting. So terrible on Dell on that. So for the next tip, this applies specifically to people who are not buying the Alienware machines. They're buying the desktop G series, which is also considered a gaming machine. Do not buy one that has a mechanical hard disk. And I'm gonna explain why. So you might be thinking, oh, you know what? I could use that extra terabyte. It's like, it's really cheap. Well, first of all, those, those things cost like 50 bucks. They're super cheap. So you don't probably want that. You want an SSD drive. But the way that the machine is built, you're gonna have your hard disk blocking the intake, the front panel, so that hard disk is gonna be in your way and you're not gonna be able to put a fan to have more cooling inside your, your actual case. Now this is a terrible design, but unfortunately this is how it is. They stack that hard disk on the front blocking anything. So do not buy a configuration that has a hard drive because otherwise you're gonna take it out and pretty much ditch it and you're just gonna be wasting money. Just get the um, NVMe, just get the 512 SSD and you can add SSDs at the top of the case without blocking any of the airflow. So that's a very important tip if you wanna maximize your cooling and trust me, you probably want to. For my last tip, something to be mindful is that Dell is very slow. Their shipping is just just really slow in, in general, especially in Canada. It's gonna take so long to build, it's gonna take at least a month. So I know you, when you bought this machine, you probably want it the next day and we're so used to it. We're so accustomed to let's say Amazon, one day shipping, two day shipping, we could just get the thing in front of us. And if you built your own computer, you could just drive around Although we are technically in a lockdown in Ontario, so we can't go out and just shop anymore. So having a pre-built PC from Dell is pretty much the only option and we do have to wait quite a long time. But I do think that it's still better than waiting months, maybe even years, maybe at the end of 2021 or 2022 in order to secure a graphics card at a reasonable price. Thanks to those miners, Bitcoin. So that's it for my tips. Just to recap really quickly, the most important tip Make sure you use a discount code. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter and then, you know, obviously unsubscribe later and get your 10% off, you know, get your Rakuten. I'm gonna put a link in the description to my Rakuten referral link. You can sign up with that with no extra cost to you and that will give us both some, some money and you'll get your discount. Now, obviously the deals for that fluctuate, right now it's at 2%, but just a couple days ago it was at 8%. So just make sure you watch, track that. Really, really quick ways to save money and it's the only way to really be cost effective if you're gonna order from Dell because it is much cheaper to build your own computer and source your own parts, with the exception of the graphics card. The, the other tip obviously is to make sure you really take care of your cooling. If you're gonna buy a G series, make sure you get the K version, the unlock Intel chip so that you get the massive cooler and don't get the little stock cooler because that's basically not gonna work and you're pretty much, you shouldn't buy a computer in that case. And obviously if you're gonna get an Alienware, pay the extra money for the liquid cooling upgrade. It is night and day difference because they still put the stock cooler and the way that that Alienware case is built, the, the, the power supply is like right above 
like there's basically no airflow in an Alienware. So you yeah, definitely want some liquid cooling. So those are the two main tips. Uh, everything else I said is pretty much supplementary. Make sure you don't get a hard drive on the G5 series. So please let me know what your experience ordering through Dell. How is your game machine? Have you made these little tweaks so that you don't have to go through the trouble of trying to void in your warranty by replacing an, with an aftermarket cooler? That is a lot of work. You don't want to get your computer on day one and then have to do all these upgrades yourself and spend more money and then void the warranty. So I, I'd much rather just, you know, let's say, for example, a stick of RAM. It's gonna, maybe I'm going to save 20 bucks if I buy it myself, but I still have to go the hassle of going to my house and getting it and installing it and all that stuff. So at the end of the day, there are some upgrades that are worth it and you kind of need to do it in order to get the maximum performance out of your pre-built Dell machine, which is, I can't believe I'm saying it, but it's unfortunate that this is, this is the time we live in, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do give a like. It really helps the channel and I'll see you in the next video.